Okay, next one, dash, dash B arrow A. Once again, underneath the B, let us write the values true, true, false, false. Underneath A, let us write true, false, true, false. What order are we going to work on these things? Uh, the dash is the main connective, so it will be last. Now, we know that the dash has to be last. So to decide what's first, let's look inside the parentheses and ask ourselves, what is the main connective inside the parentheses? And the answer to that question is the arrow, so it's going to have to be the last thing inside the parentheses. Thus, this dash comes first, then the arrow, and then we finish up with that dash right there. Okay, so working on this dash, what we get is false, false, true, true. Cross out the dash B. Now we're supposed to work on the arrow. What's the rule for arrow? The rule for arrow is that it is true except T arrow F. It's true except the T arrow F case. And so if we look at this, we have false arrow true. Well, that's going to be true. False arrow false, that's going to be true. True arrow true. True. True arrow false. Ah, that's the important false case. So, cross out all that stuff that we just used. The arrow is the main connective inside the parentheses. We go to the dash. The dash says negate what's inside the parentheses. So we're going to take true, 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 false and turn it into false, 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 true. And we circle it because that's the main connective for this third formula. All right, last formula, dash, dash, B double arrow, dash, B. All right, so once again, to be really thorough, underneath the Bs, and notice we don't have any A's in this one, just Bs. So underneath the Bs, we're going to repeat the guide columns, true, true, false, false. Same thing under both Bs, true, true, false, false. Now let's number the connectives. What's the main connective for this formula? Well, strictly speaking, the main connective is the very first dash. The secondary connective is the second dash. So let's work inside the parentheses. Inside the parentheses, the double arrow is the main connective. So we would want to do this dash first, and then the double arrow, and then this dash, and then that dash right there. Of course, what do we know about two dashes? Well, you can always get rid of two dashes and have the same formula. So the truth is, when you have two dashes, it's best just to ignore them. Uh, but let's work through this and see how it works. Um, so first thing is work on this dash. Obviously, we're negating the B column. False, false, true, true. And let's get rid of that. Now we're supposed to work on the double arrow. What's the rule for the double arrow? It is true when same. When the inputs have got the same value, then you get a true output. So true double arrow false, obviously false. True double arrow false, false. False double arrow true, false. False double arrow true, false. Always comes out false. Not surprising, right? Because what are we comparing? B to the negation of B. So of course it's always going to come out false. All right. Now, we really could stop at this point and just circle this because what are the two dashes going to do? Well, this first dash is going to turn false, 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 false into true, 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 true. And then you work on the next dash and it's just going to turn it into false, 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 false again. If we wanted to be really thorough about things, we would circle this false, false, false out here because that is the main connective. But it would have been fine to stop here at the double arrow and just ignore these two dashes. All right, so there's a tutorial in how to construct truth tables. I hope that you'll agree with me that it's pretty easy. Uh, where people get into trouble is when they have the longer formulas, and that would be the, uh, the next movie.